Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is my first content on YouTube in a couple of weeks, actually. Um, actually, I don't remember when the Megabots video came out. But, uh, what's up, Finest Gamer? What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. I can't read the chat too much because I am driving and I don't want to be unsafe. Uh, but I wanted to update you guys on what is going on. Um, so... You all know why the hell I haven't been on here because I've been getting a lot of emails from people because a lot of you guys don't follow me on the other networks. Like many of you don't follow me on Twitter, you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't follow me on Facebook, you don't follow me on Twitch. Um, so you guys don't really know what's going on. All you know is I haven't been showing up in your sub boxes. Oh man, I love, I'm, I'm just looking, the chat is so supportive right now. Thank you everybody. Honestly, it means the absolute world to me, especially right now. Uh, I am on my way to the hospital right now. I figured I'd leave that out of the title because I don't want it to be all clickbaity. But uh, I'm actually having some pretty severe problems with my back, guys. Uh, you know, fat people problems. Actually, no, it's scoliosis problems. So I'll give you guys the whole story and I'll bring you up to speed on what's going on. So about two weeks ago, I got back from uh, California. I was down there at the Bay Area Maker Fair down near San Francisco. And... Uh, uh, my voice was shot when I got back. That's usually pretty typical. I go to these events, I blow out my vocal cords. Um, they held out pretty good though for being down there for six days. I was pretty surprised at how well my, my voice worked. And I credit that to doing the Twitch live stream every day, uh, building up my vocal cords and getting them strong again. So anyways, I get back, my vocal cords are blown out. So I had, I needed a couple days of rest to get them back so I could do videos again. I edit, upload one video, and then I go over to Joel's house, the 3D printing nerd, and while I'm putting on my swimsuit, something pinches in my back. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what the hell this pinch in my back is. It just felt like a sciatic pinch, honestly. And so I get this pinch in my back. Well, we go jump in the swimming pool and swim for about an hour, and I can't get out of the pool because I can't put any weight on my left leg. And so at that point, I knew something was pretty bad. I just assumed that it was probably just a sciatic nerve pinch. They're pretty common with me because I have sciatica and I have a problem with uh, a bone spur on my L4 vertebrae on my spine just sitting right on top of that nerve. So it's something I already take pain medication for. But the pain medication wasn't doing anything for it. The pain was so bad, I couldn't walk. Uh, sorry about the vertical video. Sorry, this is just how my, how my cell phone holder, I mean, I guess I, I, I could do this. But uh, it says the or orientation is locked. So it says now I have to do it this way. I'll fix it next time. Anyways, so I'm headed to the hospital right now to get imaging on my back. They're gonna, they're gonna stick me in the x-ray and see if the disc in my back finally blew out. Uh, if it did, I'll need surgery. If it didn't, I'll need physical therapy and a traction device. So they just need to figure out. I'm hoping for traction device. I don't want surgery. I really, really don't want surgery. Uh, yeah, so that's why there hasn't been any content on the YouTube channel. But guys, I've been live streaming every day on Twitch TV Barnacles. Every day at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time, my time, it, it forces me to get out of bed. That's why I started doing the live stream. It's because I was spending the whole day in bed. And and I needed, to, I needed to get my ass out of bed. So I've been doing that live stream for over a month now, every single day with a few exceptions. So if you guys go over to Twitch TV forward slash Barnacles and follow, you'll get a notification when I live stream every single day if you guys want to hang out with me. It's a very interactive stream. Uh, so that that's what I've been doing. Right now to get by, I've got a combination of pain meds and I have something called a TENS unit with pads on my back shocking me, even right now while I'm driving because it's really hard to put any weight on that leg without it. And it basically electrocutes the nerve in my back and makes it, uh, makes it numb. It makes it numb so that I don't have any feeling in that nerve and it allows me to get around. So after I'm done imaging today at the hospital, I'm meeting up with Zachariah and we're heading over to see 3D Printing Nerd at Adobe's headquarters in Seattle. We're all grabbing lunch and stuff because I need to get out of the house. I've been going absolutely stir crazy because I didn't leave the house for six days um, after I pinched my nerve. And I was absolutely going freaking crazy. Uh, but, but yeah, so the Twitch thing is something I've been doing. A lot of people are getting mad saying that, you know, I've abandoned the YouTube channel. Guys, YouTube is my first passion. The only reason that the Twitch thing's been so proactive is because it's literally what wakes me up in the morning. My alarm clock is to get on Twitch and stream every single morning. Uh, the YouTube videos are a little bit more freeform and floating, and it's very hard for me to do the editing on them and the composition and the B-roll and everything like that when I can't get out of my chair comfortably. Uh, so anyways, that's, that's what's going on with me. I just want you guys to know. Uh, it's, it's just been a little bit of a struggle between blowing out my vocal cords. My computer crashed too. I still haven't got a chance to reinstall it. So it's doing all kinds of weird shit. 
Uh, use grinder. I saw that. No, I'm not using grinder. Right? No, no. I use what? What's what's the other one? Uh, not grinder. Tinder. I'm a Tinder person. Actually, I'm another person. I've been married, dude. I've been married forever. I, I I have I have no illusions of doing any of that stuff. My my Ashley Madison days are behind me. <laughs> but uh, but I really hope that you guys uh, come by and join me on Twitch, the daily live stream. It's about an hour and a half, two hours every morning. Uh, wake up and drink my coffee, and we just go through chat, and it's and it's basically me interacting with you guys. We play a little Z type and do some games every once in a while, but for the most part, it's just an interactive stream talking about my day. And, and I'd love to see you guys over there. Uh, my phone's telling me I got a poor connection, so I apologize if the video quality went to shit. Uh, but most of the streaming I do is on Twitch now because... So anyways, most of the streaming I do is on Twitch now because I'm partnered over at Twitch and uh, they give me some functionality and some features and stuff that I just don't have here on YouTube is a streaming platform, even though this is where my bigger audience is. Like right now, this live stream's going out to over a thousand live viewers. I get half that on Twitch. Um, but Twitch is my platform I'm going to do most of my live streaming from, unless I'm just on the go like this. Apparently, I'm a Jade 8 guy, according to, what is it, Nuid? N N nude? Is it Nude? I, I can't even, I can't read it. Z-Type is fun. Z-Type is amazing. Uh, but, anyways, I'm planning on getting back on, on the, the YouTube videos. Uh, I tried to shoot one yesterday. I was still in too much pain, but today I'm feeling a little bit better between the TENS device and the pain medication. So hopefully when I get home tonight, I'll be able to shoot a video. It's probably gonna be just an update, kind of like this live stream, but it's gonna be more of a formal video sitting down and explaining to people what happened and what's going on. It's not it's not an excuse video. I'm not doing the excuse videos or the depression videos or anything like that anymore. I'm just basically gonna let people know why I haven't been around and why I haven't been uh, creating content. And also letting know that I'm on Twitch, so if they if they really want to know like what's going on with me, they can just come over to Twitch and find out. Uh, fart, bro. I don't need to fart right now, but you be when I need to fart, you guys will know it. How's cargasm going? Well, cargasm is on a hiatus until I get my back figured out because it's really hard to go review cars. Like it's uncomfortable for uncomfortable for me to even just drive the truck right now. Uh, what do I think about the new Xbox One? I thought it was a little bit lackluster. I think it's a uh, it's basically just Microsoft's canned response to PlayStation's PS4 Pro. Uh, I feel like it's it's power it's a powerful box. It is the most powerful console, but no new no new achievements in Connect. Like I thought, hey, maybe they would make a more powerful Connect or make Connect work better. Uh, I thought that they might release a new controller because they did that like with the original Xbox. Remember, they released a smaller, more sleek controller. I thought maybe they'd have another controller option. I thought maybe they would implement some kind of HR VR using HTC Vive or Rift or something like that. Um, they did, yeah, they, it was pretty It was pretty lackluster. Uh, not a lot going on there. Basically, they're like, oh, higher frames per second and higher resolution in some games. That's about it. Uh, so is the stream dead or can you guys see me? Because according to this, it says the stream is still working, but I am doing it over 4G LTE right now out in the boondocks. So I don't, I don't expect this to be a super high quality stream. This is more just to kind of update you guys on what is going on. Ooh, I had to downshift for that hill. Feel that power. Yeah. All four cylinders of doom right there, baby. All right, so now I'm driving up through the woods, so it might it might cut out a little bit. But, anyways, the live stream this morning was good. I recorded all of them, so if you guys want to go to Twitch TV forward slash Barnacles and watch the pre-recorded shows from the last 30 days, go for it. You can also click on the clips, and everybody clipped the best parts of each show, so you can go back and just watch the clips and the highlights. Just to give you fair heads up and warning though, I am much more uncensored and unfiltered over on Twitch than I am here on YouTube. So just expect a raw Urbarnicles over there. Just just figured I'd prepare you guys. Uh, wow, this truck is so gutless. This is the most gutless truck ever. I do need a robot spine. Robot spine would be absolutely fantastic. So, so the courses of action is I have a referral here from my doctor. I got to go in. They're going to do x-rays. Then if the x-rays show a uh, significant degradation of the disc, then they're probably going to order up an MRI, which I hate MRIs. MRIs are the worst. You got to go into like this little chamber, even a big dude like me, they pin you in there. You can't move. If the place catches fire, you're dead. Uh, so I'm, I have to go do that. I'm going to, I'll probably have to do that. And then, then they'll be able to figure out the surgeon will be able to figure out if they're going to operate on me to fix the damage. Or hopefully, like I said, it's physical therapy and attraction device. But the biggest problem that started all this was I'm used to getting a nerve pinch that puts me out of commission for like a day or two, but it was seven days, eight days now. Let's see, Tuesday, no, nine days. 
It's been nine days and minimal improvement. My back is still completely jacked up, so I'm fairly certain that whatever happened is permanent. The doctor did the reflex check on my knee, and he said that my reaction time was actually pretty slow compared to the right one with the left one, which is the side where I feel like the pinch is on. And uh, so, so that's why he was concerned and wrote the referral. Uh, the thing that sucks about it is there's no way for me to escape the pain other than the TENS device and taking pain medication. That's all, all I can do. Um, which means I really can't go and do anything. Like, um, I, I'm going to go to Adobe today, but I'm just basically limping around. I'm not really, not really getting much done. And that's bugging me. Uh, let's see. The MRI is your biggest worry. Uh, or the MRI catching fire. No, it's not a big worry. It's just one of those things that's like, I, I, I'm not claustrophobic, but when you're pinned into an area and you can't move, it's it's very scary. It is. And usually MRIs take like 45 minutes. So you're literally sitting there, you know, trying to breathe calmly because if you move, then they have to redo the images. I've done that before and that sucks. And they usually have music playing or something like that. But then the, the tech usually gets up and gets bored and walks away when they start the scan. So if shit starts happening, like last time I left my wedding ring on, when I was in the MRI, my wedding ring started getting hot because the MRI will heat the metal. It wasn't it wasn't a danger. It's not like the movies where they say like, you know, a giant oxygen container is going to come in and like crush you. Um, it's not it's not that strong of a magnet, but it's strong enough to make the ring on your finger heat up. And when it heats up, you're like, oh, crap, this is going to hurt. All right. Time to order some breakfast, guys. I didn't eat anything this morning. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I make for you today? Yeah, can I get a sausage biscuit, uh, hash brown, and a water, please? Hi. Uh, a sausage biscuit, right? Yep. Uh, yep, anything else? And the hash, did you have the hash brown, too? Uh, yes, I have yep. that right now. Yep, that's it. So a sausage biscuit, hash brown, and water. Anything else? That'll be it. All right. Thank you. No, I'm just getting a sausage biscuit. I'm not a big morning eater. That's the problem. I need to become a morning eater and stop eating so much in the afternoon. Hello. Oh, cold. I know, right? I was just doing dishes in nice hot water. <laughs> Washington can't, can't make up its mind. No. Some days it's super hot. Some days it's freezing cold. It needs to be summer. I know, right? Let's go back to California where it's always summer. There you go, right? Yep, I just came from there. Oh, wow. Yep. All right. Thank you. Yep. All right. Breakfast time. Uh, get a sausage McMuffin. I'm not a big fan of the McMuffins. I prefer the biscuits. I prefer the biscuits. But thank you guys for joining me uh, this morning for my breakfast. It's funny. I do I do the Twitch live streams and I get like 500 viewers. I come on here and do like a, a portrait mode amateur live stream over 4G LTE and get 1,400 viewers doesn't doesn't make any sense to me but i still like streaming on twitch so if you guys are wondering where i went go over to twitch you'll see me thank you awesome thanks you too all right i am good to go all right got some food try not to run over that poor little bird all right birds are pretty smart they know to get out of the way okay so let's see don't get hit by a prius do a burnout This truck has one wheel drive and bald tires, so you can like do a burnout low and the, like I didn't even go over five miles an hour right there. That's hilarious. All right, come on, Hyundai. Come on, guys. Yeah, I'm away. I gotta go get my back imaged. Birds are pretty smart. They are. Mo well, most birds, not all birds, but like crows. Crows are wicked smart. Um, you don't you don't honestly see a lot of dead crows and ravens around uh, comparative to their numbers, right? Uh, see, what do you think of the security situation in the UK? I don't know anything about the security situation in the UK. What's going on? Honestly, I haven't been really keeping up on news. Um, as a matter of fact, with E3, the only thing I really watched was the Microsoft presentation. After that, I, I ended up just going and trying to rest. Uh, let's see here. Does it have an open diff? Yes. Uh, by me saying one wheel drive, I am implying that it is an open differential, meaning the power goes to the tire with the least grip, not the most grip. Uh, this truck should have had a limited slip differential, but it's a tiny lightweight Toyota pickup. So I guess they figured, uh, in their cheapest model, it wasn't really necessary. Say open diff. I didn't say open diff. I already said it. Oh, he said, there you go. Oh my gosh. People on the internet, the grant, the grammar Nazis, the context Nazis. I never understood that because they obviously know what I meant, right? 
Context dictated what I meant, but it still bugs them until I say it the proper way. It's very interesting. Uh, let's see. Presla said, do you smoke pot for your pain? No, I don't smoke anything, but I have, I have tried edibles. I've tried vaping it, CBD, THC, every mix, sativa, indica, because I don't like being on opiate-based pain medication. Um, and it did nothing. Unfortunately, it did nothing for me. Uh, after doing some research, I found out it's actually fairly common. A lot of people do not respond uh, respond positively to THC. It's not, you know, it's not the miracle drug everybody thinks it is. I mean, if it works for you, that's fantastic. It's actually a lot less dangerous than 99.9% .9 of the shit out there. But some people, it just doesn't, it doesn't work on. And I'm one of them. CBD, I tried massively high CBD and it did, did absolutely nothing. Oh, I know it's not the THC. I just, I just said it's the, the, the CBD and the CBD did nothing for me. Uh, let's see here. No, you did not. Okay. I guess, I guess I didn't. Random person in chat said I didn't. Um, but no, I, I did. I try, I've, tr I've tried like everything. Hmm. That's good. I love you too. Yeah, but I've tried, I've tried the cannabinoids and everything. And, and I even talked to my doctor. My doctor was the one who recommended it, by the way. And he even said that there's just certain people that just do not respond to it. It's not, it's not a universal drug that just works the same on everybody. It works entirely different. Some people get relaxed from it. Some people get massive anxiety and panic from it. Some people get stomach cramps from it. It's actually really, really strange how many people respond differently to it. But if you're one of the lucky ones where it just makes you feel really relaxed and helps with your anxiety, then you are lucky. You are very, very lucky. You should count yourself lucky. Unfortunately, I am not in that category. What disease do you have? I don't know if it's really a disease. Well, McDonald's was on the way. That's why I picked it. Uh, I would have rather gone somewhere else, honestly, like even get like a Starbucks breakfast sandwich, but that's what was available. So that's what I did. Uh, but anyways... I know there's the people out there that believe that like marijuana cures cancer and it's been proven to do everything and it cures everything and smoking it like solves all the problems, but it doesn't. It just straight up doesn't, um, but it does help a lot of people. So I am 100%, 100% on board and support both recreational and medical use of marijuana. It's just I'm not a person that it actually helps. Uh, so I'm hoping that the doctors, if they do find that the disc is degenerated, I'm hoping that they have a surgery that they can do that'll guarantee me some relief. I'm also, uh, the doctor said that they might want to give me a cortisone shot. And I guess the cortisone will like strengthen the nerve or something like that. Or do, it does something to the nerve uh, so that I can be pain free. And hopefully that, that becomes an option. Uh, THC does, does make, yeah, it made my anxiety go through the roof. Like I, I tried a couple different, some people said that sativa and indica were different. Um, I noticed very minimal difference between them. Uh, and it's funny cause I watch how my friends react to it. Right. I, I watch, I watch how my friends react. And the funny thing is like a lot of people don't realize like how many people actually like smoke pot or eat pot or vape pot or whatever. A lot of people don't realize it, but as soon as it became legal, like everybody came out of the woodwork. I, I probably have less friends that don't do it. <laughs> And there are people that you'd never guess. I mean, they're very, very motivated people that get a lot of shit done. So I don't get the whole stoner mentality of it makes you want to sit on your ass and eat because I, I don't see that. But, uh, but anyways, if it helps you, I'm glad. I'm really glad. But don't be one of those people that just keeps on saying that, no, it's going to cure everything. It's going to cure your cancer. It's going to cure your diabetes. Just, just smoking something is going to solve everything. Because it's simply not. I mean, logically, it's not going to. But if it improves your quality of life, you do it. And I honestly feel that way about anything. I don't care. Drugs, food, whatever. If it improves your life and doesn't hurt other people, you do it. That applies to everything. Religion, sexuality, everything. If it, if it isn't physically hurting other people, you have that. You, you do you. Mmm. All right. Yeah, every morning I do the morning coffee live stream over on Twitch. And at 8.30 a.m. And I drink a cup of black coffee from a, an espresso roast. And I don't get to eat anything till after the show because I usually wake up and just get the show set up and go. Like, there's no time to eat. And, uh... 
it does have a tendency to make my stomach feel a little upset. You know, just drinking black coffee. Okay, hold on. Oh, they're roundabout. Need need 110% attention in these things because it's not Europe, so people still haven't figured out how they work. So people try to sideswipe you all the time. Am I doing any Ethereum mining? Yes, actually, I am doing Ethereum mining right now, and I plan to do a video on it. Uh, Ethereum is blowing up, guys. Ethereum is basically Bitcoin 2.0. It's uh, going up in value exponentially constantly. I'm kicking myself in the balls for not doing that. I think I saw somebody say I don't understand the difference between CBD and THC. I think I made it perfectly clear what the difference was earlier. You must have missed it. Uh, again, there's just certain people that can't believe. Like, because it works on them, they assume that it's going to work on everybody else. So they make every justification. I still get emails from somebody that's like, oh, you're doing it wrong. Or you got to try this one strain called Sticky Icky Purple Power or something like that. That's got the perfect ratio of indica to sativa. And it's like, no, you guys don't understand. I tried a lot. I'm not talking about I tried it once. I tried it for weeks. Literally weeks I tried it. In different dosages, different delivery methods. And though some were better than others, I never found one that was a real pleasant experience for me, unfortunately. Yeah, I missed you guys too. I missed you guys too. You like Purple Jesus? Is that is that a brand? See, look. See, here's another guy. He said, you need CBD, not THC. He's not listening. I just told him that I tried the THC and I tried CBD only. I even tried different extraction methods, including the CO2 extraction. I tried everything in like every dose. So just, just so you guys know. See, I'm going to be nice and let a dump truck in. Come on. Come on, dump truck. I'll let you in. Come on. I tried everything. I tried everything. Matt Clark said, try losing weight. I tried that too. Um, so it's actually funny. Uh, I, I've been doing a little bit of soul searching lately about why I've been so negative lately. And it turns out that YouTube is the source of that negativity because YouTube has one of the most toxic audiences there are because YouTube doesn't police their audience. So you have a lot of really young people that are just very angry at the world. And this is their outlet, right? This is like their 4chan and their Reddit to come and be heard and get some kind of attention from people that they want attention from. So a lot of people want attention from me and they see that I'm a fat person. So it's like the weight seems like an obvious end to them, right? Well, let's see, I gotta get in front of the dump truck now. Coming over, buddy, come on, return the courtesy. Thank you. Uh, but a lot of people come here and they think that the weight is an end, but it's not anymore. Like, it's, it's really not. I'm very comfortable with myself, uh, my family, my wife, we're all very, very comfortable. Uh, in, in ourselves. So it just, it doesn't really affect me anymore. I let it affect me at one point and looking back, I'm actually like pretty embarrassed by it. Like why I would let something so trivial affect me because the people that say stuff like that, they're not intelligent people. The, the, these, these aren't people that have anything to really offer the world, right? They're just, they're just trolls. They're people that are just looking for a thrill or to improve their shitty life by trying to find something wrong with somebody else's life. And once you realize that, it actually kind of becomes funny. It actually does become funny to like go through and read the comments and everything. I don't reply to them like I used to. I used to reply to them, but I still go through and read them because it's fun. You know, and you, and you see the people that are like, their answer to every problem on earth is, you know, just lose weight. Lose weight and it'll say, it'll, it'll cure your cancer to lose weight. Uh, and it's it's really funny. And, and then some of them even like, this is the thing I don't get is how many personal trainers are there on earth? Because literally every single person that makes a weight comment on YouTube comes back and says that they're a personal trainer. And they usually have a YouTube channel called like something personal trainer or buff and fit or super strong guy. And they have like no videos uploaded, like none. It's, it's like they're just trying to build a persona to use to try and go attack people. But I do understand it. I mean, I totally understand it. I was a kid too, and I wanted attention, and my parents neglected me. So I totally understand where they're coming from, right? I mean, they just they just want to be, they, they don't care if it's love or hate. They just want attention. They want to be acknowledged. They want to know that they have some power on this planet. And so once once you realize that, guys, it's, it's no big deal. It honestly is no big deal. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> Uh, other than my back pain, I'm actually doing really good. Uh, my my mental state has improved astronomically over the last couple of weeks, uh, despite the pain in my back. The pain in my back has been a downer. I'm not going to lie about that. That's actually probably been the biggest drag on my mental state lately. But uh, the biggest thing for me was just realizing that I have a lot of you guys. Right now, 1,600 people are watching me live. 
And, and it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome that I have this impact and I can entertain or educate uh, this many people. It, it honestly is like the greatest feeling in the world. And the funny thing that you notice is the trolls, none of them have a following. They, they don't, none of them do. It's, it's funny when you go look at it, you know, cause I used to do that. Like I'd get a comment and be like, Hey fatty, go kill yourself. You click on it. It's like they have a channel with no followers and no videos. And that just tells me that, you know, they, they don't have anything to offer anybody else. So they just fail. And so they troll people. That's how they get their high. I get my high by entertaining you guys and making videos for you guys. They get their high by trying to get attention. Uh, what does way few? What does way few mean? W a i f u. What does that mean? I need. I need a translation. No troll bashing. Nah. There's no. There's no need to bash the trolls. Like they're they're trolls. They they're, the reason that they have a name is because that's what they're doing. It's when somebody comes up to me and says, "Hey, you're fat. Kill yourself." That's not something they would say to my face in real life. I mean. The reason they're saying it is they want a reaction. It's not because they actually want me to go kill myself. I genuinely feel that most of them would actually feel bad if I did go kill myself. The reason they're saying it is they want a response. They find it, it's a lot easier to try to get a response from me by being mean than being nice. And they just make that assumption because unfortunately, that's how the world is. And especially if you have abusive parents. If you have abusive parents, it actually makes a lot of sense why you're trolling because abusive parents and neglectful parents generally only give you attention when you're bad. When you're good, they just kind of like leave you alone and don't give you anything. So it's like you're trained from the core to be that evil person. And it's sad because you see a lot of YouTubers and, I, and I, you can put me in with the group at one point too, where we were affected by it, where we let those people get to us and we let those people dictate, you know, our mood. And once you realize that you're doing that and you snap out of it, it's like you, you have to laugh. You're like, wow, I let these people actually get to me. And I gave them exactly what they want. And that's not fair because they cut in front of everybody else. You know, they got a response. Why, why aren't you giving responses to all the positive people? So that's what I do now is I reward the positive people, even over on the Twitch stream, all the positive people and the people that hang around that have something to offer to society. They're the ones that I focus on and they're the ones that I give my attention. The trolls get nothing. The trolls really get nothing. Uh, all right, I am, I am at the hospital. So here in a minute, I'm gonna head inside and get queued up for my x-ray on my back. So hopefully they will tell me some good news. I'm hoping my fingers are crossed. I'm going to be, I'm going to be an optimist, not a pessimist. I've even vowed to start being more positive on social media, like Twitter and stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to stop being so negative about things. Ooh, there's a Jaguar F type. Oh, those are beautiful cars. I love the F type. Oh my gosh. Uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to stop being so negative because the, nobody benefits from the negativity. They really don't. Like nobody at all benefits from the negativity. It's just the, it, it, the positive people benefit the world and the negative people do not. Uh, saying that everything is a piece of shit is not gonna make it any better. Uh, so I'm gonna start being a better person. And I hope that a lot of you guys, all 1700 of you that are watching live right now, commit to the same thing. Try, I know it's hard. I know there's days where you just wanna watch the world burn. I get it, I totally get it. But I'm just saying you guys should really, really, really try your hardest to be positive because it'll pay dividends. And the people that are positive in your life, those are the ones you want to give your attention to. Oh, now I can read a couple of comments now that I'm here. <laughs> trolls drive Jaguars. Uh, villains drive Jaguars. So technically, yeah, I guess the trolls would too. But the trolls can't afford Jaguars because let's be honest. People that are on the internet telling people that they're fat and to kill themselves aren't people that have any money or people that have any means of having a good life. That's why they're trolls, right? They're at home on their outdated computer like trying to get some attention instead of actually trying to be positive. See, tons of you guys agree with me. There's like one, the, the, the troll comments are like one to a hundred. Yeah, I know, Vincent, almost 900,000 subscribers on the channel. And don't worry, we're going to hit that million, guys. I'm going to start releasing videos on the regular again, like starting tonight. And it's going to it's gonna blow up the channel. We're, we're going to a million subs. Uh, let's see here. Wow, the chat is scrolling fast. Don't worry, North Korea is going to hit the UK with their missiles. Not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, North Korea's missiles do not go very far. They're like a bottle rocket at best. Uh, Jerry, what do you think about Ubuntu? I love Ubuntu. I think Ubuntu is an amazing distribution of Linux. Uh, Mint is what I've been using lately because Mint is just an easier distribution to learn and I've been out of the loop for so long. It's just very, very nice. Uh, let's see here. They're home with their outdated computers. <laughs> I'm glad I can make you guys laugh. That that You know what? That's what makes my day is making your guys' day makes my day. 
Uh, I should learn how to do speed reading. There you go. Do you support universal basic income? I don't know what universal basic income is, so I can't support it nor not support it. Uh, let's see here. What is my what is my stand on AI, artificial intelligence and development? I love it. I think quantum computing plus AI plus deep machine learning is going to lead to some amazing things. Now, as long as Boston Dynamics isn't quick to just start throwing that shit in a robot as Gatling guns for arms, I think we'll be just fine. Uh, let's see your trolls have their Windows XP boxes with their Athlon 64. It's completely true. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Actually, my favorite color is black, but a lot of people don't think black is a color, even though it absolutely is. Uh, because they say all oh, black is just the absence of light. But, you know, there's a lot of things that are considered black that you can still see, right? So it's not actually black. I guess you'd call it an incredibly dark gray, but still, I consider it in the black spectrum, therefore it's black. Black and red. Black is the absence of light. See, Lloyd, Lloyd, see, I can predict you guys. I can predict you guys. And, it's, and I understand it. I understand it. People on the internet want to be smart. They want to be recognized as being an intelligent person. They want to feel powerful. So that's why there's the grammar Nazis. That's why there's the spelling Nazis. That's why there's the everything Nazis online is because people see it as an opportunity. It's like, oh my gosh, I can finally get noticed. Or, oh my God, I can, I can feel like I'm smarter at one thing than that guy. And that's the wrong mentality to have, actually. The right mentality to have is to aspire to, to learn and be smart as somebody else. Wow, somebody just donated $2. I didn't even know you could do that on YouTube. I thought that was disabled on my channel. Wow. If anybody else donated money during the stream, I'm sorry that I missed it. It's been scrolling by like crazy, but I can go look at the dashboard later and take a look at it. Uh, let's see here. Sean said, I'm using Windows 10 hero. I've taught him how to keep his privacy. That's fantastic. So your PC's broken now, Jerry? Kind of. The PC isn't physically broken, but the software on it is. Windows 10 needs to be redeployed. I'm having a lot of random issues that I can't explain. I just saw Bitwin SDK on the stream. He's a regular over on the Twitch stream. Welcome. Uh, let's see here. Black and red is your favorite color. Must be easy. Oh, I just, I missed the rest of the message. Man, how do I stop scrolling? Can I stop it? Oh, I can. Wow, when I'm reading a message, I can actually stop the scrolling just by touching the screen. Uh, Nuclear S said, I hope Maximum Casey doesn't discover the stream. He's, of course, talking about one of my most supportive Twitch viewers. Literally, this guy comes into my channel and just will drop like three or six hundred dollars. I'm not even joking. Not all the time, but, you know, he does it every once in a while. And uh, we all think that he's a mafia mob boss or something. Uh, let's see here. Seems that you lost weight, dude. No, I didn't lose any weight, but I did get a lot happier. And you know what? That's That's what counts. You know, enjoy your life. Uh, don't let what other people say get to you because here's the problem. If everybody tells you to lose weight, everybody tells you to kill yourself, everybody tells you that you have to smoke weed or you're, you're going to be anxious for the rest of your life or you have to do, you don't have to do shit. Just do you. It's the people that do themselves and stay true to themselves that do the best in online media and in life in general. The people that listen to other people, especially lesser people, because people that are always negative are lesser. They absolutely are. There is no equality between people when one person's being negative and the other person's being positive. Pessimistic people don't go anywhere in this world. They don't. And they need to realize that and stop being pessimistic. Um, I just think that they misery loves company. So they try to get other people to be mad and other people to be pessimistic because then they don't feel so lonely. Uh, but they need to go the other way. So if you're a pessimist and you're just, you know, one of those 11 year old trolls that I'm talking about right now, hey, any point you can turn your life around. But if you feel you, need, you got a couple more years of trolling in you that you got to get out of your system, you go right ahead and do it. But don't wait too long. Thank you, Cade Dickey, for the $5 tip. He said, uh, where did you go, buddy? Also looking good. Cade, watch the beginning of this when I end it. I talk about where I went. I'm actually in the hospital parking lot right now getting ready to get my back x-rayed. Um, I've actually been gone because of some medical stuff. Uh, stay awesome, Jerry. You're the best. Dickie paid for your parking. Actually, parking is free where I'm at right now. I'm at Bella Batega in Redmond, Washington, and uh, and it's free here. Wow, Bitwin SDK just dropped 20 pounds or euros. I can't tell which symbol that is. He just said test. Bitwin, it works. Thank you, Bitwin. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Baron Lux said, every minute that you're angry with yourself or someone... Uh, yourself or something or anyone else is the minute that you miss out on the happiness yourself. That is absolutely true. That is very positive. You should do a visit a video on philosophy and psychology. This stream has really made me think. Um, you know, I, I actually have done videos talking about this stuff in the past. It's not my primary video that I like to create on this channel because it is nerdgasm. It's it's for nerd, it's for technology, it's for but it is for sharing my life too. Uh let's see here. 
Uh, let's see here. See, here's another example. So Frank Einstein, he said, so what is this? Another excuse video for not losing weight? No, Frank, it's not. And if you actually watch the stream, you would know that. But Frank is what I was talking about. Frank is one of those negative people that he's focusing on the wrong things in life. And he's, because of it, he's robbing himself of a lot of things he could have. And it's unfortunate, but the vast majority of you guys are actually doing really good. So, uh, here and see, I can just, I can just block him. Uh, and that's fine. But you guys focus on the positive, okay? I gotta go in and get my back image, but focus on the positive. I want each and every one of you to vow for the next 24 hours to be positive on social media. That includes Twitter, Instagram, anything. I want you guys to go out there and I want you to be positive, okay? I want you to, don't, if, if, if you feel like you need to tear something apart, don't do it. If you think you need to tear something apart, you just had sex. Actually, I did, and it was good. Uh, even with my back pain and everything, that's the one thing. Hey, as a man, I can do that no matter what. If I have pneumonia and my spine is broken half, I will still be able to do that. Miss Barnacle's boy, she gets she gets my blood pumping. Uh, good luck on your surgery. I'm not actually having surgery yet. Uh, we were we're doing a consult to see if I need it in the first place. Sup, baby girl. Sup, Bobby. Uh, you look great. Keep up the good work. Uh, let's see here. Scrolling through. Please not Facebook. Okay, Facebook, you don't have to be positive because Facebook actually doesn't support positivity. And if you're not negative, you, you, your posts won't even show up in people's feeds. Uh, let's see here. Goranga said, block me, daddy. Nope, I don't block people that ask for it. You have to actually be a dick to get blocked on this channel. Sorry, but them's the rules. Toyota AE86, fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Wow, I cannot believe there's still 1,500 people hanging out here. Permanently positive. All right, so this, man, this chat is scrolling so fast. Thank you, Jordan, for the $2. He said, looking forward to the Ethereum video. Uh, I'm looking forward to making a lot of videos because there is a lot of content piling up for you guys that I have to get done. I've got 10 videos in the can that I haven't even edited yet. Uh, let's see here. I'm being a sarcastic asshole. Is being a sarcastic asshole acceptable? I mean, it's not being negative. Technically, it depends. As long as you're clearly being sarcastic, I think sarcasm is like nature's funniest like comedy. There is. All right, guys. I really have to spin this down now. Everybody's like, don't Wow. Mr. Playhouse just just tipped 50 DKKs. I don't I don't know what a DKK is, but uh let's see, Lenovo must be a girl's name. Their server is so damn sexy. Lenovo the Lenovo servers, they are very sexy. I don't know how much 50 DKK is, but thank you so much. Uh and it doesn't even matter. That is fantastic that you guys want to support. Okay, I have to shut the stream down. I have to shut the stream down. Uh hold on here, I gotta time out that guy. Okay. So 50 DKK equals six euros. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for the conversion there. All right, guys. Wish me luck. I'm going to go get my back scanned. If you guys want to hang out with me tomorrow and every day live, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time on Twitch TV forward slash Barnacles. Just like, just like everywhere else on the internet. Just forward slash Barnacles. I'm going to be over there. I hope to see a lot of you guys over there on the stream tomorrow. If not, swing by, hit the follow button, and watch the VODs. You can watch the previous shows anytime you want. They're all recorded, and they're all completely uncensored. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, just seeing if they, let's see here. Even trolls. Yeah. Even trolls, the trolls can come by the Twitch feed. Cause I actually have a strong moderator group over there that times out everybody before their message is even seen. So it's great. You come over to the Twitch channel. There is literally no trolling in the chat at all. It's like a troll free paradise. Same with my discord server, discord.gg forward slash Barnacles. It's an open chat server. I'm on all the time. The mods take care of all the trolls on there instantaneously. And because of the chat delay and everything like that, the mods take care of it before anybody else sees it. So the trolls never even get any attention. Uh, I don't even see what they say. That's how cool it is. Uh, let's see here. All right. All right, guys, I got to go there. That's the hospital right there. All right, love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for catching up with me right now. I will give you an update later on. Also, keep an eye on Instagram, forward slash Barnacles, and Twitter, forward slash Barnacles, because today I'm going to be posting pictures from Adobe's headquarters in Seattle while we're having lunch with Joel Telling, otherwise known as 3D Printing Nerd, who is a quality control officer for Adobe. I think he works on After Effects, though, not Premiere, so I can't bitch at him too much about all the problems I have. All right, I love each and every one of you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy, and until next time.